<laughs> Why do you eat like a cow? Hi, welcome back to Aya TV. I am your host, Taylor, and this is your host, Hawkeye. Today we are examining the many treats of Hawkeye's childhood. Some of these were not from his childhood, but some of them he chose specifically. So we'll get into that. They okay. are all from China. Tea, uh, chips, different chips. Mm -hmm. And cakes. So when I was in high school, my classmate, um, he was a rich kid. And every week he bought the whole box. Every week he gave me one. Mm, I like it a lot. <laughs> what does this say? Um, it, it says QD. So like QD. So in America, we have something called Little Debbie's uh -huh. or Hostess, and they yeah. make square cakes that look like this, like this. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a zebra cake, but reverse. I'm sure there's other cakes that they have that are chocolate in America, but mm. zebra cakes is like the thing that's closest to this, in my opinion. Yeah, lady first. <laughs> lady first? Yeah. That's not how they say it. Isn't it sweet? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. It is sweet to me. This is like way less sweet than American cakes. Yeah, I agree. It's very soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think this is the mocha ones, right? Yeah, it's mocha. It's like flavor. coffee chocolate. Mm -hmm. It tastes better than zebra cakes cause, or hostess cakes because they're so sweet in America that mm. one cake in America is like 300 calories <laughs> for like one little yeah. cake. Yeah, scary. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could eat this and I wouldn't gain weight. This is my next favorite for mm. my childhood. So this is a Chinese brand unlike all the others, the Lay's. So one thing about imported foods is that if you don't open them carefully and when you open them, they can just go and fly everywhere. I've yeah. learned the, my lesson. Yeah, things about this is uh, once you start, you can't resist. You have to eat the whole bag. It's too good. You can't stop. I can't stop. It's not that interesting. It's kind of sweet, right? And it also has the green onion flavor. Actually, it specifically has bok choy, green onion, tomato, and potato. Oh. So when oh. I was a kid, my mom always tells me never eat the uh, snacks because it messes up your teeth if you don't wash them right after. And so I was brainwashed by my mom my whole life not to eat any snacks. I'll only eat three meals a day and fruits. For example, I never buy ice cream by myself. My whole life I don't buy ice cream. I do eat ice cream, but mostly because my friends buy ice cream for me and I never have the habit to buy the ice cream. Mm. Okay, next let's move on to this one. It's a uh, Lay's but it's in cucumber flavor. <laughs> have you had those? I think we had the, mm -hmm. we had the cucumber yam chip. It smells like potato chip. Mm -hmm. Okay. It mm -hmm. smells like when you go to Walmart and you bought that really cheap St. Ives cucumber mask. Mm -hmm. It smells exactly like that. Yeah. I like it. It tastes like cucumber. I don't like this one. I like the yam one better. It tastes like you found a really sweet mm -hmm. cucumber. Mm -hmm. Sliced it really thinly, mm -hmm. accidentally baked it. <laughs> took it out, put salt on it, and then said, here, mm -hmm. have some. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try roasted chicken. Some people mm -hmm. really like this one. Okay. Roasted chicken, chicken wings flavor. Smells, okay, for Americans out there, mm -hmm. it's this scent smells exactly like the Marichan uh, chicken ramen flavoring packet. Like if you just took yeah, the powder out exactly. and you just smelled it, that's exactly what this smells like. Maybe that's what they did. They just did the Mary Maro Chan uh, packets. They just put on the chips. Yeah. So when I was a kid, it's kind of gross. Mm -hmm. But everyone, uh, when I was a kid, I don't know if everyone experienced this, but mm -hmm. uh, we were kids and we didn't have a lot of money, but mm -hmm. we wanted to eat a snack. We mm -hmm. all had ramen at our home. Mm -hmm. So we would take the ramen and we would crush mm -hmm. up the noodles. Mm -hmm. And then we would take the chicken packet and pour it all over the noodles. Yeah. Well, and then eat it dry. Oh. 
No, I I know in China. Yeah, in a, we have you it. You have exactly that. You don't even to cr- uh, crunch it. No, it's already there's yeah. a noodle pack or there's a chip bag that's mm-hmm. noodles. Yes, they are already. But see, in America, we do that when we were poor kids because oh. we want to have snacks. Uh huh. I had it before. Yeah. And have... then my mom yelled at would yell at me and she was like, "You know those noodles are raw. You're gonna get sick." No, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one mm-hmm. is called squid. Flavor. Squid. Grilled squid. Yeah. Oh. Let's see if it smells like seafood. Mm-hmm. It smells like squid, like cumin barbecued squid. Yeah. Right. They put cumin in it. <laughs> Why do you eat like a cow? Do you like it? Mhm. This is my favorite. Why? When I was in primary school. I don't have money for snacks. My parents didn't allow me to eat snacks, so my best <laughs> friend gave me money every day so I can buy this and treat him. But it was from his money. So we went out and eat snacks like this mostly every day. What is it called? Gluten pieces is literally mm. what the translation is. Gluten pieces. Like, like I said, Hawkeye, mm. there is no translation for this product because this product, there is nothing like this in America. I mean, mm-hmm. it's literally pieces of gluten mm-hmm. with spices and oil mm. and sugar. Mm-hmm. It's very tasty. It's spicy, but it's also sweet. I think it has SM- MSG. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, that's why it tastes like SMG. Mm-hmm. What what is it called? SMG. MSG, monosodium glu- glutamate. MSG, okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Like Uncle Roger said, it's the salt on crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, the same thing with this. It's not spicy. I don't mm-hmm. really come up. Once I opened the bag, I couldn't stop. It's not that large. <clears throat> they sell the larger ones, but too large to finish. Mm. I don't like it. Okay, it's mine. I don't like flavors like that. Mm-hmm. This is the Drink. most famous tea. From 1828. Like, yeah, the Chinese uh, iced tea with sugar in it. Oh. Yeah, so most people will drink this when they have hot pot. Because hot pot is so hot and spicy sometimes, so then just drink this um, cold iced tea. It's like uh, tea, but um, it has uh, medical uh, effects. Mm-hmm. 